What is going on guys, it's Modded Warfare here, welcome back to another PS3 tutorial. So in this tutorial I'm going to be showing you how to install your PS3 games off an external hard drive, so you can run your games off an external drive rather than the internal drive, which is what we covered in the previous uh, episode. And uh, there'll be a playlist link in the description to all the previous episodes in this series so you can get caught up. You will need to have Webman and Multiman installed, which was covered in episode 2, and obviously you'll need to have your PS3 running custom firmware which was covered in episode 1. So first thing to note is you can run your PS3 games from an external hard drive in NTFS format and FAT32 format so we're going to be covering both here in this video. Um, so NTFS is not actually natively supported by the PS3, FAT32 is, uh, but NTFS is supported uh, thanks to you know the modding community of the PS3 have created stuff to make it work so you can now install games on an NTFS formatted drive so let's start off with that so starting off with NTFS if you grab an external hard drive that's in NTFS format if you right click and go to properties you need to make sure the file system says NTFS and if it doesn't then you'll have to reformat it you know if it's something like XFAT format then you'll have to reformat it so make sure you back up any files that are already on the drive because formatting will erase everything. Um, and then right click on the drive, select format. And then when the menu pops up, select a file system as NTFS and then click start and that will reformat the drive in NTFS format. Okay, so once you have the drive in NTFS format, we can go into the drive here and install our games. So I've got a game here, Call of Duty Black Ops 2. Uh, just like in the previous episode, we've got the ISO version and the extracted version. Now, if your drive is in NTFS format, you have to install the ISO version. It will not work with the extracted version. Whereas if your drive is in FAT32 format, then you can install the extracted version, but not the ISO version. So if you're on an NTFS drive and you don't have the ISO version, you only got the extracted version, then you can turn the extracted version into the ISO version. You could probably use tools like Power ISO and stuff to do it, but um, you can get a simple tool like PS3 ISO tools, uh, which I'll link in the description. And this can turn your extracted game files into the ISO version. So you just run the tool here, this opens up. And then you can pretty much just leave all these settings on default. You just click create ISO and then you'll get this popping up. And then again, just leave everything as default, click continue. And then you just select the game folder. So the Call of Duty Black Ops 2 folder here, click OK. So then it's gonna ask you for a directory to save the ISO file to. So just select the same directory, click OK. And there you go, you can see it starts generating the ISO file. Okay, and when it completes, it'll give you this log. And there you go, you now have an ISO version of your game just delete this there we go so we've got our iso version just like we had before so if you do have the game in the extracted form you can turn it into the iso version that way what we're going to do in the external hard drive is create a folder a new folder in the root of the drive not in any existing folders called ps3 iso in uppercase characters and then in that folder you're going to copy the iso file of your game uh, into that folder Okay, so now that the game's copied over, you can unplug your external hard drive, plug it into the PS3, we'll load up Multiman and refresh our games list, and the game should show up in there. Here you can see it now says NTFS ISO version, uh, there on Multiman, and on Webman Games here, you can see that it shows up there as well, it says dev underscore NTFS PS3 ISO, and the game is there ready to be launched as well. So that's NTFS, so now let's look at FAT32. So what do you do if your external hard drive is formatted in FAT32 format, um, or you want it to be in FAT32 format because that's natively supported and you, you'll be able to actually install the game in its extracted form as well uh, on FAT32. So you can reformat your drive again in FAT32 format if it's not already in that format, if it's in NTFS and you want to change it to FAT32, or it's in some other format like XFAT and you want to convert it to FAT32, then you can do the normal right click and format. Although if your external hard drive is too large, which it probably will be, then you won't get the FAT32 option. So you'll have to use an external formatting tool to format it in FAT32. Aomi Partition Assistant is the program I always use because it's just a great free application that allows you to partition and format your drives. So I'll link it in the description. So, so using Aomi Partition Assistant, you can see it's in NTFS format right now. If I right click, I can go to Format Partition and select FAT32, click 
click OK and then apply. And then you can click proceed and that will reformat the drive there in FAT32 format. There we go. Congratulations. Done. It now says it's in FAT32. And if we close out of AOMI Partition Assistant. And now if we right click on the drive, go to properties, it now says it's in FAT32 format. Once you've got your drive in FAT32 format, we can put some games on here. So create a games folder in uppercase characters. And then in the games folder, you can put your game. So Call of Duty Black Ops 2 here. Now you want the extracted version, not the ISO version, because the ISO version is 20 gigabytes. It will not allow you to copy a file that large onto your external hard drive because FAT32 only supports files that are four gigabytes or less. So if you have a file that's larger than four gigs, it's not going to allow you to transfer it onto the, the drive. So what you'll have to do is get the extracted version and copy that version into the games folder the game in its extracted form even though the game is still you know 20 gigabytes it's all made up of smaller files that are less than four gigs so you can fit the whole game on there and again if you don't have the extracted version you just have the iso version you can turn the iso version into the extracted version by opening up the iso version in winrar and then just extracting the files that are in here into a folder so you extract the files into a blank folder and then you have the extracted game files that you can then copy over to your external hard drive. Okay, and I've got the game copied over. So the whole game copied over there, no problem. And if we plug this uh, external hard drive into our PS3 and refresh the games list in Webman, it will appear. Or if you refresh the games list in Multiman, it will appear there as well and you can mount it. Now, occasionally, now this is quite unlikely, but some games are like this. Occasionally, you'll find a game that does have, even in the extracted version, it does have a file that's larger than 4 gigs. So, as an example here, Resistance Fall of Man is one that's known to have a file that's larger than 4 gigabytes in the extracted version. So, as you can see here, this game file here is 6.4 gigabytes. So, this will not copy over to your external hard drive. Um, so what you can do in this scenario is there's a tool called PS3 Splitter and if you download the latest version and install it, it can split this file up into multiple parts that are less than 4 gigabytes, so that you can fit them on your external hard drive and then you can have the whole game stored on your external hard drive. So uh, when this happens, install PS3 Splitter and if I search for it here, run this, then you just want to click execute, locate the game folder select OK and as you can see it starts converting the files into multiple different parts so you can see we've got the initial file here 6.4 gigs and then we've got these different uh, files that are just separate parts that are all gigabyte each so there'll be about seven of those parts to cover the whole file and then we can copy these files over to the external hard drive instead of the the one big 6.4 gigabyte file okay so there we go it's done because we selected the whole game directory, PS3 Splitter will find any files that are larger than 4 gigs. It won't just do that particular one. So any file it finds inside the game directory that's more than 4 gigabytes, it will, it will split into these multiple parts. So then what you can do is you can just grab the game folder now and copy it to your external hard drive in the games folder. Okay, and eventually it'll get to the file that's 6 gigabytes, so just click skip and again for any other files that are larger than 4 gigs but that's fine because even though we skipped that particular file um, you'll see that we do have all the all the parts that make up that file have been copied over so there we go so now we can just unplug our external hard drive and plug it into the ps3 so i'm going to go into multi-man Okay, so on Multiman, as you can see, it shows up here. We've got the Call of Duty Black Ops 2. You can refresh, of course, if it doesn't show up. But there's Black Ops 2 stored on the USB drive. And there's Resistance Fall of Man also on the USB drive. Now, if I run Call of Duty Black Ops 2, because it doesn't have any um, files that were larger than 4 gigs, it will just run completely from the external hard drive, and that's fine. Um, but Resistance Fall of Man, because we split it into those multiple parts, it can't actually run those multiple parts from the external hard drive. What it has to do is uh, merge them back into one 6.4 gigabyte file, but it will store that file on the internal hard drive. So if I try and run this game here from, from uh, Multiman, you'll see that instead of running it, it will first have to copy 6.4 gigs 
There you go. So pre-processing required, you say yes, and then it will start uh, merging. It will copy those parts back into one 6.4 gigabyte file on the internal hard drive. Um, so it's better than nothing. It means you do need to have an internal drive with a decent amount of space on it, but at least with this game, you're still storing about 12 gigs, something like that, something like 12 gigs. I think this is an 18 gigabyte game, so you're storing about 12 gigs on the external drive, but 6.4 gigs on the internal drive. So back out to the XMB here, you can see it's loaded the resistance fall of man, ready to be launched. So if I go ahead and launch it here, we'll see that it runs okay. All right, and there we go. As you can see, the game is loading up. Okay, so back out here, if I go to Webman Games again, PlayStation 3, you can see the games are now showing up on the USB as well. So I don't know why it doesn't refresh when I click the refresh button. Maybe it's just a bug or I'm missing something. But if you go out and if you go into another application and then back out again, it's, that seems to refresh it so that uh, your games list shows up properly here. So we've got the Black Ops 2 on the USB drive and Resistance on the USB drive. So yeah, there we go. So finally, last thing I want to show you guys, if I head back into Multiman again, and one thing you'll notice after I've run the game, it shows up as split now, There's, to show that part of it's on the hard drive, the internal drive, part of it's on the external drive. So it says split. Also, if you ever want to delete that split file, that 6.4 gigabyte file that's sitting on your internal hard drive, you just head into settings on Multiman and go down to clear game cache data, select that and it will clear the data and that will get rid of that 6.4 gigabyte file on your internal drive to free up some more space. Um, but yeah, that. so the next thing I want to show you, the last thing is what if you want to copy a game that's on the external hard drive to the internal hard drive or you want to copy a game from the internal hard drive to the external hard drive. Of course, you could do this on the computer with FTP, but you can also do it here within Multiman by heading to the file manager and then using the right stick to control the mouse here and then uh, double click with X on PS3 root. And then you can go into, you know, dev HDD zero and then go to your games and then you can uh, press X on it once to highlight it, press circle, and then you can copy, cut and paste uh, the game. And then you can just go back to the USB drive, which is dev underscore USB. And then you can go to games and then you can press circle and paste it. And that will copy and paste the game from the internal drive to the external drive and vice versa. You can select a game uh, that's on the, uh, you know, external hard drive and then take it to dev HDD zero games and press circle and paste it to copy it from the external drive to the internal drive. So that's how you copy the games back and forth on the PS3 itself. And when you're done, you can just press, um, or you can just go out to games, I guess, and that'll take you back. Okay, so that's basically how you install games to your external hard drive in NTFS and FAT32 format. So I hope you guys enjoyed the video or found the information useful. Stay tuned for the next video, which is going to be about installing backwards compatible games, so PS2, PS1 and PSP games on your jailbroken PS3. And we'll be covering a lot more in the series in future, so check the playlist link in the description to access all the other episodes in the series uh, so far. So anyway, hope you enjoyed the video and I'll see you guys in the next one. Thank you.